All right, so we're just gonna focus on this headlight here, why this is not lighting up. We have uh, another light out here, a little um, park light bulb out there. Go ahead and turn the brights on. So flip the brights on. Um, there we go. So we've got the dim there and then the brights again. The brights are working, right? Okay, so we've got an issue with our dim light over here. So let's go ahead and put it back on dim. No, there you go. All right, so what most people will do is they'll come over here and we're going to remove the, the bulb here. So we're gonna untwist this and get access to a headlight bulb. And we just simply unplug the little tab here and we're gonna replace this. Most people come in for a headlight and maybe they buy a new bulb and the first thing they do after they buy a new bulb, they plug it in and it still doesn't light. Brand new bulb. So how do I know if this bulb is good? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a resistance test across these two terminals to see if the bulb's good. So right here, we're going to put this on ohms and we're going to test across these two terminals here. Be careful we don't touch the bulb. We don't wanna get any oil from our fingers on the filament of the bulb, which will cause the bulb to burn out. And you can see putting an ohm test across that, that through these two terminals here, Cross those two and then we can go look at the meter. We have a resistance value. And so this bulb is good, but we're still not getting light. So what most people will then do is they wanna see if they have volts to the light bulb. And like what we talked about, when, whenever we disconnect something, we're now going to um, see if there is voltage present, voltage at that connector. So we have voltage here, but the light bulb still isn't lighting up. 11.45 um, volts is what we're seeing. We go over to the battery. So verifying voltage from the battery power supply source, we have 12.2 volts, which is more than the voltage at the connectors. And we know we have something on because this bulb is lighting up. So to see what's happening here, what we're going to do is we're going to um, keep the circuit live. We're gonna plug this in. Okay, and I'm gonna have to back probe the back of these wires here. A couple of these T pins, they like use them for sewing. These work really good. They're pointed. We don't wanna pierce the insulation on the wire, but what we're going to do is we're going to back probe that connector. And so I'm going to First, start on this positive side of the circuit by simply taking this and probing it into the little connector there. And I want to get it where it's touching the terminal. You might just have to kind of play with it a little bit to make sure that you're on there. And then I'm going to go from positive here. Okay to ground and make sure that I have power with my voltmeter back to the battery. So positive, right there. And I'm gonna stick this on the ground. And you can see I have 12.26 volts. 
So that means that according to this, we have good power there. Now the question is, if I measure positive to positive, is there a voltage drop? So if I go positive to positive, there's no voltage drop. So that tells me that this wire here is good. That wire back to the battery is good where our main power supply is. So I'm gonna take this little T-pin, I'm gonna move it to the negative side of this connector and I'm going to check now on the ground side of the circuit so I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to go over to the positive and you can see I have very little voltage at all positive to ground but if I measure ground to ground we have a voltage drop. So anytime I measure negative to negative, right here, let me get this grounded here a little better. Anytime I'm measuring negative to negative, I've got a voltage drop. Now, some of you guys are probably saying this is a little weird. Um, we measured by unplugging this, right? We unplugged this and we saw 12 volts. Okay, so I'm gonna unplug this again. And if I measure negative to negative, what do I have? I have next to nothing, right? But when I plug this in here, because this is the load with the circuit live, that changed. So what that means is on this blue wire here, I have something taking the voltage before it gets to this light bulb. So we need to figure out where this voltage is being lost on this ground side of the circuit. So what we would do next is we would go get a wire diagram. And this wire diagram, you can see this is the left and here is the right. And we have the right um, we have the left and right high beam, low beam. We look at our wires. We know the blue wire on the right side, because this is the right side of the car, the blue wire is not getting us proper ground. So I would go trace this wire through this um, junction box maybe from the junction box down to um, our, uh, sorry, I need to look here. The switch, the fog lamp, we know the fog lamps are working. We would trace it back to the switch. We would kind of go through and try to diagnose what's happening. So um, we will go ahead and fix this wire and then we'll show you um, what it's supposed to show. So let's go ahead and turn that off. So after finding a pinched wire on the blue wire, because it had been in an accident, we just cut and um, spliced a new wire that feeds this ground side of the wire here. And we're using the same bulb, and now you can see when we plug this in, um, it lights up like it's supposed to.